Hey, Pups Nerdy Corgi here, and I'm just gonna level with you. I have no fucking clue what this is. I, I, I've been drinking, alright, but I didn't buy this as the result of drinking. I don't know when I got this. I think it was included in a Humble Bundle RPG Maker doodad some time ago. And I found it in my games library on Steam, and I was like, Oh, I've never played Sweet Lily Dreams. Let's give her a go! So, here we go. New dream. What's what now? Is Daddy home yet? He's still at work. But he'll be here when you wake up. It's sleepy now, sweetheart. I don't know why James gave me this voice. I don't want to sleep. Well, too fucking bad. If you sleep, you'll see him in your dreams. On the road to Wa Ra Ro Rono, perhaps? Are the characters in my book going to be there? Sure, honey. Why the fuck not? I mean, just go to sleep. Fucking Jesus Christ. You think I have time to deal with your shit? Now we're going to read everyone's favorite book. Go the fuck to sleep. Sweet dreams. Lily. Really slowly. They, man, they speed that dialogue across the screen and then they take like eight years on the title sequence. This is my mouse. You see my mouse? This game plays it like... 640 by 480. As most RPG titles, or RPG maker titles do. Left out an important word there. Alright, well shit got tricky. Alright, left click or use the arrow keys to move. Right click or press escape to choose a menu. Interact with characters and items by left clicking or walking up to them and pressing enter. Alright, uh, uh. Basically, left click your way around the world. Can do. You found a minor potion. Alright. Found a blue sea salve. Salve. You don't pronounce the L. Music by Brian Kofi. Ethan Rizik. Fine! I tried to give people due fucking credit. Fine! This horse apparently was more important to the plot than Mark Zuckerberg. I don't know who all was on the credit list. Alright. So you can use the mouse or the keys. Well, we've already established this. Uh, menu can be accessed here. The hotkey is shift. Hide or do the items. Okay. We're not exactly breaking new ground here. So what do I want? I want the snowflake. Choose the snowflake of cold's power? I mean, that doesn't mean anything to me, so sure. You received its elemental power. Does any of this mean anything? Graphics by Aron van de Brug. 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 Oh, good. Ah. Uh. I guess I have to pick an outfit for the ball. Do I want to be... Let's just go with this one. Choose the garment of fire? Well, no, obviously I... I no! No, I need the thing of ice! I need the ice doubles! I didn't click on the fire! Fire? Programming by some guy who did the graphics. Bum, bum, bum. All right, and that was it. Sweet dreams. You woke up. Congratulations. <laughs> Are we going right back to sleep? This girl's suddenly relatable. Oh, I see. We're having the hardwood floor dream. Yeah, I've I've had that dream too. Where you don't have to have shitty fucking carpets and your bed's a demon. What? Oh, Jesus Christ, you are ugly as sin. What? What? Daddy, Mommy, help! I guarantee you in this situation, they are already dead. Did I do that? Well, wow, I have magic. Come on, then. Alright, so suddenly you're just a brave little shit. Preemptive attack. Uh, go for it. Alright, 
Each character has health and magic. Alright, I can see that. They're labeled health and magic. Cool. Your character's KO'd. You could just say knocked out. We're not, like, at a shortage of space here. Alright, so fight. Attack. I, I get it. Attack. Boggy phobias. Let's just attack the bed. It knows what it did. Skill, what do I got? I, got, I ain't got shit. Alright, attack the bed. There we go. There we go. There, good little anime girl. You avoid those tentacles. I don't need to tell you what happens. Jesus Christ. Don't get me wrong, I haven't drawn in years, but... Ugh. Oh, yay, this is great, very great. Except for the whole bed rape thing. Written and produced by that same guy. Special thanks to Kelly Amanda. Wow, that was exciting. Where am I? On some ship? I mean, you're inferring a lot here. Oh, good, trading. A lot of objects can be found and used in solving puzzles when you, uh, must... Sorry. When you must select an item where you, for use or trade. Wow. I'm normally illiterate, though. I can't blame the alcohol. When you must select an item for use or trade, a small window appears at the bottom left. Select an item or cancel the trade to proceed. Alright. This is gonna do anything with this barrel. Do anything with these barrels. Do anything with this barrel. Do anything with a poke hook. I'll take it. Key hangs out of reach on the wall. Uh, I'm willing to. There we go. The poke hook breaks. This must have been the shittiest freaking thing on the face of the planet. All right, I got gotcha. you. Congratulations. The iron key breaks. Alright. Alright, I'm with you so far. We've got some issues with regards to scale, because if the windows are that big and the stairs are that big, well, she's fucking giant. Oh, I thought we were in a cutscene for some reason. Oh, because we were. Oh, good. A pirate dragon. <laughs> Man. If I cared about this boat, I'd be so pissed. Uh, don't smile calmly. Are you seeing this shit? Okay, so the dog's name is Faith. Oh, this is the dog from the title screen. Ung, says Faith. Embarrassed that she almost went overboard. Don't worry, miss. We're here to save you. Curly. Shush, Faith. Focus. You can't screw up another mission. We've got this. I get really weird, like, deviant art fur affinity vibes off this dog for some reason. What are you saying, or what are you waiting for, then? Uh, use that, use it on that Phobius. No, Phobius was the bed. Right, let me activate it. Prepare to be erased, you beastly thing. Oh shit, you lost your plunger! Oh, and you've pissed off ear woobles. Sorry, sorry. It's just below deck. I'll go get it back. Girl, what's down there? I guess there's like a gunpowder cabin? And Faith is dead. It's burning. Jump off. Alright. What is anything? Am I the dog now? Do I play as the dog? Holy buckets, my readings are too high. I'm gonna need a bigger chart. That's not 
you just adjust the scale of your x-axis. They don't sell charts in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Such a lack of foresight. Uh, I bet my mother's cornea that it's a hole in the market. Truly, who could be so blind? What is giving this kind of reading anyway? <laughs> Voice, who be alive? There must have been something remarkable on that ship. I must get the others to assist in fully searching the wreckage at once. Oh, dead dog. A survivor? Hey! Hey! Oh, my buckets! You're in bad shape! Quick! Think, Edge! Think! Ing! Ing! The elixir, right! Here, try not to bite me while I make you drink this. You'll recover, surely. Bite his dick off. There, you'll be all right. Ah, but I'll require more of these if there are any other survivors out there. I'll have to leave you here for now. I have to run to camp and get the others here to help. So stay put now. <coughs> oh. <coughs> that was all me coughing in real life, not adding character to Faith's uh, whatever is going on here. Stay put. I'm sure he won't mind if I look around. <laughs> All of my friends just died. Heh. <laughs> Alright. Arrow keys. Arrow keys are better. Less janky. Oh. Everything feels weird. Okay, I collide with those flowers, but not those. I collide with that. And that. And that. I'm very obviously meant to take this shiny rupee. You picked up two magic gems. Just lay it on the ground. You know they're magic and not regular gems because they were shiny. Not, obviously, therefore, of great significance to your quest. Oh good, a tablet of some sort. You picked up the runestone. You picked up a snake. A snake, a snake, ooh, a snake. Alright. Another snake. A crevasse. These are either pool lights or somebody's window. Either which way, it doesn't make sense on the side of a very, like, small hill. Oh good, I got myself to camp. You guys are useless. Can I have this? No. Can I have this? You picked up the spark dust. You look like a perfectly reasonable homeless man. Ray. Who? Who are you? A dog? But you're talking. I haven't said anything yet. Still haven't said anything. This is Ray's drunk. As noted by all the bottles. Talk to me, dear. Elista, and you must be the extraordinary creature Ink spoke of. You should count your blessings for surviving that ship crash. All right, cars and planes crash, ships wreck. Get your terminology straight. We were just contemplating how to get our equipment safely out of the ruins up ahead when we saw the explosion. A dragon attacked you, did it not? Fearsome creatures they are and mayhap a valid subject for our next research. As it happens, I am professionally educated medic. Would you like me to heal you? Uh, yeah, I mean, sure. All right, this might give you a tingling sensation in the penis. What's that? You're a female and don't have a penis? Oh, you're about to. Don't worry. All right, I don't want to talk to Ing again. He was annoying and a scav. You! What? My ignorant, moronic, rash, flamboyant... No, not, not flamboyant. You! A thousand times you! I'm not a phobius, I swear. I didn't do anything. Yes, yes, I know. Wait, a what? Well, no matter. My assistant told me. Um, he used our precious drops of elixir on a furry dog. A furry dog with a flower. Do I have a flower? 
So Ying, the man who saved me, he's your assistant? Yes. Yes, he is. Actually, I take it back. I'm glad he used the elixir. You have a certain skilled flair around you. I'm a dog. Oh, good. More Ying, the guy I tried to avoid. What's going on? Ying, I take it back. You are not a... You are not moronic. Perhaps ignorant, but not moronic. Do you know what you've saved? A dog. Weird fur. Maybe a ship dog. Though I don't see a wooden let... I reinstate you as assistant of me being smarter by comparison. I feel like that was a joke. Like they tried to, they tried to make a joke. And since I don't want to be an asshole, I'm going to pity laugh. Let me take a sip of this water here. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> all right that's all i could muster of me being smarter by comparison you my dim-witted friend oh and that was it good grief it's those creatures again what creatures i've been quiet so far because i still hear water circulating in my head and it's disturbing that roaring just now what was it monsters we had settled down within the ruins documenting the strange symbols on the wall when we were ambushed by them we escaped, but we had to leave our equipment behind. Phobius. Hey. Um, haven't happened to see my friends pass by. She's a cat. Her name is Curly. All right, I've seen a lot of cats. That was not a fucking cat, but you're barely a dog, so what do I care? A cat named Curly. What else? No, you're the only survivor I've seen. Perhaps, Ing, we saved our savior. Um, would you be so kind as to return the... Uh, sure, why not? We're, we're all in this together. Alright, go inside. Take the first left. Alright, I, I don't care. On we go. New quest. New quest. New quest. Here we are in Assyrian ruins. I can use this place to get back to uh, Rosaria and ask for help with finding Curly. There should be a memory teleportal north from here. And on the way, I can check for the researcher's equipment, which was on the first hallway on the left. I literally just got told that. I didn't need a fucking rebrief. Oh, wow. This place is even more damp than I remembered. Oh, a chest. Sweet. I reckon whoever built this place is long gone and won't mind me taking the contents. So hold on. How do you remember this place if you've never been here before? Or... Oh. Alright. I don't... I don't care. Alright. Most items can only be acquired by crafting them yourself. It is also the main way of learning new magic as you can craft various exciting scrolls. Select a recipe on the right and you... Alright. I don't... We're not, we're not doing any of that. We're just gonna get through this together. Found an escape crystal. Sweet. Alright. When they said first hallway on the left, they meant first actual hallway, because that was not much of a hallway. You pick up the rune stone. Alright, so. Uh, coins? Coins can be used to buy exclusive items. Oh, gee, just let me. Tell me that shit once I'm there. Alright. Found a minor potion. Oh, Jeebus. Preemptive. Alright. So let's. Do I have a skill? No, dog has no skills. Let's attack the cave yeti. With all your bark. And then attack the Leporophobius. Who's going to cast Jesus, a lightning bolt spell at me. Alright, so I'm way tougher than the little girl was. Earned a thunder shard. Hoorah. Oh good, another tutorial. Healing orbs can do things.
Excuse me, little spider. I just want these. Because God knows I'm totally going to play this long enough to get invested in buying special costumes or whatever it is from Rosalina. The rest of the Mario B-list characters. I don't know, she's probably pretty A-list by now. No, 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 no. Yeah! I, I didn't. That did not go well for me. Just attack it. Kill the thing. Kill the Leo Pleurodon. I love how I told the, that I wanted to attack, and it was like, no, you're getting attacked. Fucking deal. Alright, I found a Thunder Shard. Hoorah! Five Thunder Shards and five Cold Shards. Making that battle basically pointless. By the way, do you remember when we said that our equipment was in the first hallway to the left? Uh, what we meant is it's at the end of a long maze that that hallway leads to. Alright, we got five water shards and five fire shards. Together, I can make five steam shards. And with those... I can make a better game. Uh, I'm gonna get you. Did I get you? Am I preemptive? No. Alright, I gotta attack these cave yetis. Oh, these cave yetis are stronger than the previous cave yetis. Ow, my feelings. There we go. Awesome. We're just gonna attack you, and then you're gonna hit me for four points. Look at that. I'm fucking psychic. Attack that cave yeti. Amazing. Alright. You pick up the vintage bag. Oh, good. I mean, I may be trapped underground in a terrible nightmare hellscape full of cave yetis and angry leprechauns, but I am nothing if not stylish. Alright. Oh, no. Just... You know what? Fuck it. What are you gonna be? Some cave yetis and a leprechaun? Who knew? Preemptive. Alright. I'm gonna attack Leo Pleurodon, because he can cast lightning, and that was not fun for me. Now... I'm gonna attack the Cave Yeti, because fuck you, Cave Yeti. Four. Oh, I evaded. Not even four. This is gonna be a flawless victory, motherfucker. Cue up the Mortal Kombat guy. I can't. I can't be bothered to do that much editing. I lost some of the footage I wanted to share with you pups, so that's why I'm having to put together a really long one-off as an apology to you because I lost footage of me and Davey actually having a good time with the game and uh, as punishment to me for having lost that footage good I'm glad I went around to the back of the crate to open it genie ass alright minor potion excellent down, down the stairs why put these here are you world building? Was that important to my immersion? What am I after? Anything? I feel like I followed this through to its natural conclusion and didn't reach any sort of satisfactory end. Where were their supplies? Were there ever supplies? If I leave the cave, will I find that the people who I thought were there never existed at all? Is this all a sign of things to come? The end of the world? Where just a lone, furry dog has to talk its way in and out of situations? Guided only by a flower? And a will to be the main character of a really weird game that was supposed to be about a little girl dreaming and 
thus far it makes absolutely fuck all sense to me. Oh, I don't like you. Oh, and you, you can't evade, only I can evade. That's my thing, I get to evade. Motherfucks. Stop it. You'd better not, you'd better not evade again, I'm telling you that. Yeah, thank you. Have some dignity, die like a man. God. Alright. I'm gonna let you punch me in the face, cause then I'm gonna murder you. Achievement unlock, novice eraser. Are there really achievements in this? If I check my Steam library or my Steam achievement store page for the Sweet Lily Dreams and and things have happened? Yes, words? It is late. You found a treasure of ginger root. I mean, that is the treasure. Oh, was this the equipment? Picked up the blue golden vase. I don't know that that counts as equipment, but I got it all the same. A small cave can be seen through the cracks. Oh, good. It's... It's secrets. I feel more invested in the game now that there are secrets. Totally not obvious secrets. It, uh... It, it makes me feel like I'm, uh... I'm playing a real game. <laughs> oh, okay. Was anything this way? Was the plot this way? Was that not the first hallway on the left? Are you the hallway on the left? Found a magic orb. This door is indented with sphere circle space. Uh, this? Without four gold rings uh, to fill the space, they fall out. Alright. Motherfucks. You have like three gold rings sitting in there? Oh, there you go. Sarnian ruins, northeast. I got some coins, motherfuckers. <sighs> yeah, I was about to say, don't don't make me do everything the hard way. Alright. I'm going to save some of the green for later. Oh, good. Not only did me running into them count as me getting ambushed, but it's by the little magical fucking leprechaun and a goddamn earth elemental. I'm thrilled. Let's just take care of Biggie before he smalls me. Alright. Ow. Oh, for fuck's sake, with the... Stop, just stop with that. I don't need this in my life. Alright, I'm just a dog, alright? I'm just a fucking dog. Why would you guys do this? Why would you go around and attack me? I didn't do anything to deserve this. Alright, we're... Oh, stop, stop with the evading and the such. Ow. Don't be an asshole, asshole. All right, I found a thunder shard and some ginger root. Uh, that's a no-go. That's a no on my go right there, Ten four, buddy. How? Uh, J Jiminy, she'll fucking... <sighs> escape. I escaped. Alright. Uh, save the game in case I ever decide to play more of this torture. You guys can be like, hey, James, uh, this is us in the comments section. 
all 16 of your loyal subscribers, 15 of whom don't watch your shit, please, please play more of this game because it seemed to be causing you great internal suffering and, well, we hate you. And then I, because I have low self-esteem and value your input in my life, will be like, okay, I'll do that thing for you. I will do that for you, pups. And I will sit through, I have been mean, probably three, four hours of this before I finally blow my fucking brains out. So yeah, that's, that's something to look forward to. So yeah, if that's your idea of a good time, leave me a comment down in the doobly-doo. Uh, until then, I will see you pups tomorrow with something completely fucking different.